Hey, it's Carol, the owner and CEO of Crystals and Chai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And this episode is about empathic energy. And if you saw my last video about um, cleansing it, this one is about protecting it. And there are many ways to do this. What I'm about to share is what I do and what I've learned over the years. Ultimately, it's up to you what is most comfortable. Being an empath is about what helps you to be comfortable and at ease. Just basically understanding your energy compared to other energies when they're attached and getting rid of those attachments. That's what this is about. So recently, my husband started realizing that he was an empath. <laughs> Been, married, been with him for over 15 years and he's just figuring it, it's it's like he's awakening it's really cool to watch and just see how he's grown anyway <laughs> he's in his late 50s and he's realizing he's an empath so I've been helping him figure out his empathic ways and helping him with things and I've been being taught by my aunt and helping figure her she's been helping me figure things out so it's been kind of cool, everyone teaching each other, and now I'm helping you. <laughs> and also, as I stated in my last episode, intention is important, and it is. Have an intention of what you want protected, and add, basically, no harm come to come back to me, because when you're removing, sometimes when you're removing empathic energies, it's maybe not something that is so good. So sometimes I have those energies, I just have those energies go back into the universe and decimate or whatever. Some people, and then I, I just don't want those energies going back to anyone else, including the sender. Because the sender doesn't always realize that they're sending their energy to you. And if they do, karma will get back to them, who knows. Okay, so there's things to know. One thing is, there are no two empaths that are alike. We all have our own empathic abilities. I've never met anyone that had the same as I do. And it's like the Claire's. You just know. So having these empathic abilities, one of them is just knowing and if you go back to my first episode, I go through all that. So that being said, you need to figure out your abilities that you can do. And then you can help yourself to know what ways to protect you. So the first one I've done with my husband is I imagine, I tell him, imagine you're a boat or a vessel or a ship or whatever you're going through water and that energy that water is going around your vessel I don't really know how else to explain it but you're the boat you're going through all the water and the water's going around you and those energies are going around you they're not going through the vessel they're just going right around you I hope I explained that right <laughs> and okay so the second one I cleanse myself with herbs. I have done this a few times on TikTok, TikTok and on here with cleansing videos of myself and it also helps whoever watches the videos as well. I cleanse with Palo Santo and sage and other herbs. I also cleanse my home with herbs. I clean, cleanse myself and then I cleanse my home and I cleanse whatever needs to be cleansed to protect my family and myself in the home. So like if you say you go to a yard sale or something or an estate sale or whatever, make sure you have that furniture or whatever it is cleansed. Because if there's anything attached to that, like maybe somebody died and then so, you know in the estate sale, you want to make sure the energy is not on whatever you've purchased. Yeah, I've I've seen some doozies. Please. If you decide to use that method of herbs because you have to light them please use caution when using fire and all that go with fire end of disclosure so the third one 
is meditation. I also meditate and I ask my guides and my archangel and the archangels to cleanse me. Meditation will help also help you to figure out what might be affecting you. If you have the ability to see, this might, as in third eye seeing when you meditate, this may also help you to remove what no longer serves you. There are some people that can do that. I am not one of them. I wish I was. That would be fantastic. Number four, when I feel off, when I just know something's affecting me, I will literally sit there and say, this is not my energy a few times and imagine whatever energy is attached just goes away and it detaches. I also, in my own way, remove the energies and I'm going to do a video on this, I think. Let me know in the comments if you'd like, like an example of me removing my energies, the energies that no longer, that I don't want attached to me. Because seriously, nothing else should be in your, the only spirit, soul, whatever, it should, in your body, should be your own. Nothing else. Because some funky crap can go along if you got something else attached to you that does not belong to you. Believe me, I understand that one. The fifth one, I wear crystals, stones. Everyone has their own verbiage. I make crystal jewelry, like I'm wearing my amethyst ones here. I also keep stones in my purse. I keep them in my pocket to protect my energy. Uh, side note, I do live in an RV park, I'm staying in an RV park, and I do have background noise. So if you happen to hear any background noise, there's nothing I can do about it in on with the episode. I asked the stones to protect me. Yes, you can take stones and you can basically make them your own. You put your energy into them, you talk with them, you meditate with them, you ask them to do things for you. That is something that you can do. And basically, if you want to look at any of the jewelry that I make, because everything's infused with love and light energy, the link will be in the description below. Number six, my own energy is, yes, my own energy is my own protection. This one helps, but it doesn't always work for me because I'm like an empathic sponge. But I'm mentioning this because it could really help someone else. So I'm suggesting this because I want to pass on the information to other people who this could help you. If you imagine and think of yourself as your energy is bigger than anyone else's, it's just the best, bigger, brightest of anyone else's, and that nothing can puncture your energy, just imagine your energy growing and growing and growing and getting bigger and larger and larger and larger until it fills up the whole room. Nothing's going to affect you. That's what you think in your mind. Nothing's going to affect you. It works for some people. It doesn't work for me. But as I said, I'm suggesting this to you because it may work for you. Just expand your energy and just put your heart into it and think love and light thoughts and expand your energy. And also, some of the, I missed this part. Sorry about that. I'm, I am reading from a run that I'm sure you can figure out that I've been reading from my window because my eyes have been darting down. <laughs> if I don't keep myself on a script, I'll be all over the place. Some of the stones I use for protecting my energies are hematite, labradorite, malachite, citrine, tourmaline, and many others. I just realized I went through that really fast. Hematite, labradorite, malachite, citrine, tourmaline, and others. If you go back to my last episode, the one about cleansing, I got a little ahead of myself and I even show video of what I, you know, the, the jewelry that I've made and the, the crystals, stones that I use. Yeah, I got a little ahead of myself last episode. And the seventh one. I have something that I can do. I call myself I call it the Carol, Mom, Wife, Love Burrito. 
I can envision a white fluffy love blanket surrounding whomever I want to protect. Some people can do it. I know I can. I've been told by my family, whoa, the mom burrito worked. Wow, the wife burrito worked. So when I want to protect my family or myself, I just envision a white light love burrito cloud, whatever, around us, me, my kids, whatever, and my husband and my son swear by it. <laughs> so have you, if the ones that I have mentioned, have you tried any of those? Will you try any of these? And will you let me know if they work for you? How they work for you? I would love to hear it. So like save this episode. And if you know someone that needs to do this, share this with them. And let me know if there's anything more on this that you want to hear about. I'm happy to share. And this concludes this episode. So for any of Crystals and Chai products or services or my social medias, the link is in the description below. And if you have any questions or want to connect with me, you can comment on this episode. Uh, you can also email me at crystalsandchaihealing at gmail.com. And um, that will also be in the description below. And thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And yeah, be safe out there. And hope these help you. Love and light. And thank you for watching.